In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the lowest input delay, lowest ping, and highest FPS. Now, this works for console, PC, mainly PC, but there is some parts that do work on console. So, I'm going to have timestamps of this video. So, if you guys don't want to watch through the Fortnite settings and want to skip straight to the display settings and everything, then it will be really easy for you guys to navigate that. Alright, so firstly, I'm going to be going over settings that work for console and PC. So, if you go down to Fortnite settings, console, it would look a little bit different. So, first, you're going to want to go down to your replays. Make Make sure that your replays are off. Now, if you're a controller player, for me, generic just feels way better. It feels like it has way less input delay. I'm not sure exactly why, but it just feels way better. But then you're going to want to go into your controller settings. So foot controller, you, we don't even use foot controller, but turn that all the way down. Make sure it's turned off. All right, so that's pretty much all the stuff that console can do in this video. Now for the PC settings. So what you want to do is play on full screen. You do not want window mode. You do not want windowed full screen. Resolution, you can turn this down, but if you do turn it down your game will look a little bit buggier but you will get so much higher fps if you do turn this down now frame limit if your computer is good then you do want to have a one above what your hertz is on your monitor so i've only got a 144 hertz monitor which means i can only see 144 frames so i play on 160 fps rendering mode you definitely want performance mode on 3d resolution it really depends how good your computer is but if you turn this all the way down this is three percent what there's no way how do people play like this let's turn it down to 1%. Yo, what is this? So I'd probably recommend like at least 50% so you can at least see weapons and stuff. Anything 50% and higher does look decent. On my old computer, I used to play at about 94 to 96. You can notice a slight difference, but not too much. And it does keep your FPS really good. Now you're going to want to have view distance on near. Textures have those on low. Meshes have those on low. And that's pretty much it for all the in-game settings. Okay, so now you're going to want to launch your Epic Games and then click on the these three little dots right here go to options and make sure that if you do not play and save the world do not have this tick high resolution textures you do not want that ticked unless you do play on high resolution textures which why are you watching this video if you do directx 12 shaders you do not want that ticked this will pretty much uninstall all of those now pre-download streamed assets you do want that ticked as that downloads all of the skins in the game which if you do not have this tick every single time you go into a match it downloads those skins over and over so that will lower your ping heaps so next, you want to load up GeForce Experience and make sure that your driver's up to date. I updated mine yesterday, so it's definitely up to date. Then you're going to want to load up a NVIDIA control panel. Now, you do not want Ultra HD SD. You want to have it on PC 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor is. Then you want to have the refresh rate as the max your monitor can go to. Now, this won't help any performance, but if you guys want to have your game looking better, I would put your digital vibrance up to 75. That's what I play on. It looks way better. You can see the colors way better, which you guys can tell the difference this is no digital vibrance versus digital vibrance it just looks so much better all right now this next bit shout out to jerian for this because i got this all from his video but you're going to want to go to adjust image settings with preview make sure it's on use advanced 3d image settings then press take me there and then you want to copy all of these settings so i'm not going to talk about all of them but i would highly recommend you guys to copy all of these so i'll scroll through really slowly and you guys can just pause the video whenever you need to just make sure you have all of these as pretty much what mine are so like yours would be different like mine says rtx 4070 when you go down here your graphics card would say whatever your graphics card is so do not worry if it says a little bit different than what mine does okay so next this is on your pc so unplug all of your usbs make sure your computer is off just in case you have something plugged in that will ruin it but most pcs these days have got black usb ports and blue ones and some have got teal usb ports so the black usb port is pretty much usb 2.0 which usb 2.0 that's pretty much the standard usb that's what consoles have but you should be playing wired even if you're on controller on keyboard mouse i would highly recommend you to be playing on wired as that is the lowest input delay but to make sure that you have the best speed and the best input delay if you have the blue usb ports plug your keyboard and mouse or your controller into that port whatever one you use if you use keyboard and mouse plug that into the ports if you use controller plug that into it as the blue one is usb 2.0 but if you have teal usb ports on your computer you're going to want to plug your controller or keyboard and mouse into those ports as those are usb 3.1 and the blue ones are only usb 3.0 it might not make too much of a difference as it's more for transferring data in that but it definitely will make a little bit of a difference okay now i'm going to be showing you guys the best combos gliders back blings pickaxes and skins that you can wear for zero input delay okay so for skins you can wear lots of the skins in the game you just want to try to stay away from ones with heaps of detail flashing lights 
as you can see here on the back you can see the flashing lights there's also flashing lights on her leg there same with this skin it's got glowing flashing lights all over it you just pretty much want to stay away from any animated skin with galaxy or flashing lights anything like that same with back blings, like power back bling, you can see the sparks going off of it booger's back bling, you can see his dog moving around just anything with animation that does take a little bit of fps and it does take a lot of input delay and you want to take that as well with pickaxes at like candy axe that's a pretty bad one there's lights all over it star wand that's got the contrail and stars glowing around it best pickaxes to use are the throwback axe icebreaker and ones like golf club and stuff like that gliders don't really matter too much as you don't see them too much but gliders like this it does have a little bit of animation you just want to stick to the most basic gliders that you can find and if you followed all the steps in this video you should have the highest fps that you can get the lowest input delay and you should have the lowest ping but anyway thank you guys for watching this short video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this video helped at least most of you guys out but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one